Hey guys, so today I am reviewing the Monster Family of Draculaura, and this is a playset that is the kitchen, and it comes with Dracula, which is amazing, and I just really love this playset so much, and I really hope you guys can get it because it's amazing, except for the dolls, but I'll get into that a bit later, but the playset is worth it. So here's the back of the box. You can get more detailed pictures of the box on my Instagram. And I just want to get into the review because I know this is going to be a lengthy review because there's a lot of details to this playset. So let's move this. And we're in a different location. We're on my shelf. I already have them displayed. So I guess I'm going to go through my complaints first. This isn't the Dracula R that came with it, but I kind of updated her or whatever. This is the Dracula R that came with it. Um, so basically what I hate about this doll, sorry it's so shiny, but um, what I hate about her is one, she came with Wonkai, I guess I could have picked a better one, but I honestly already knew what I was getting myself into by this Draculara. Her hair is awful. I hate this material of hair. It's not Konecalon, but I prefer Konecalon over this hair. It's very like ratty and very like brittle and kind of stiff and I just hate it. Here's her dress. It's also crimply and stiff. It kind of feels like plastic and it just doesn't feel like a good quality dress by any means. This little belt right here doesn't even go all the way around. It's just awful. I hate this. Look at this crimply mess. And the shoes, um, I actually left on this one because I like the shoes. And I like the headband. It's like a little chef hat with a pink heart. And bat wings and it came with this recipe book which let me take that from her and it's really cute it has it has a little like ice cream on it with a spoon and it's bubbling and you can actually open it the back has a tentacle and like it's so cool it has a little cake and a fork I would try to open it, but I don't think I can. Let's see if I can. Yes, I did. Make sure to not open it too much. You're going to stress it, and it could break. And I guess it has recipes on it. Oops, sorry. Kind of hard to hold this and hold the camera at the same time. But it has recipes on it. I'm sorry, you can't really tell. But yeah, it's really cute. So let's get into the playset. That was Draculaura. I'll save Dracula for last because he's cool. No, I'll just get him out of the way now. So here is Count Dracula. He's actually very, very cool, but the limited articulation really, really sucks, and I really don't like that. But his face is really nice. He has glasses, which are rubber banded on, and I kept the rubber bands on because I don't ever want to remove his glasses. He has purple eyes and, like, a dark purple um, lip color and he has purple eyes like Draculaura I probably already mentioned that my bad um, he has black hair and he has gray in his hair because of course he's Draculaura's dad and he's kind of older very nice he does have the little sharp vampire ears then for his outfit he has this molded on um, apron and it has a cool collar, and you could see a whisk right there, and a little um, spider web. And I like how the bottom looks like a bat wing. Then I added um, Valentine's vest because I feel like it completes his outfit. And he has this very cool striped shirt with pink and white. And under it, it's kind of like this cool texture, and it feels nice. His pants are this very, like, silky soft material, and they're very shiny, as you can tell. And I really like his shoes. They're, um, they're kind of like these, um, I don't know what you would call them, kind of like cowboy shoes, I guess, with the little tassel, and, um, the shape is a little bat, which is very cute. Very nice. I like these shoes. That's one of the only good things I got to say. Then, for articulation, he swivels at the neck. Um, he moves his arm up and down, but he can move him out. Then he has, um, like, um, thigh joints or whatever. And, not thigh joints, the hip joints. He does have leg joints, but he has no ankle articulation, which kind of sucks. But it's okay. 
the main attraction of this playset is literally every accessory because they're so amazing. So I love the little setup. I love keeping these little cardboard pieces because it adds to the aesthetic that it actually is like a kitchen. So I'm gonna start off with the chairs. They're identical. They're hot pink and they're just so, so cool. And it kind of looks like fire, I guess, and it has little hearts on it. And yeah, it has little bats on it all over the place. I like the chairs. So we're gonna move on to this section. Okay, so there's a lot with this. Let me move this a little bit closer. Let me try not knocking down everything. Wish me luck, you guys. Okay, so you could see a chandelier, which is very nice, and it actually dingles and moves. Has little bats on it, spiders, and it's just overall very cool. Then you could see over here hanging, you could see a little, um, I don't know what you would call this. It's a little thing you roll on. They can actually hold it. And here's the whisk. It's a little bone hand that's webbed. And it's so cool. And I just love how all of this hangs over here. And here's an oven mitt. And it's very nice. And it fits Dracula perfectly. Then um, there's this cool little like mixing. It's a mixer. It mixes like the ingredients if you're gonna make like a cake or whatever. And it's a little coffin. And you just turn this and it moves the little mixer and it's very nice and you can open it I just can't do it with one hand let's see if I can't yes you can open it which is very nice and it's so cool you could see a hand holding this and as it moves it it's like the hand is moving it's just very cool I love this then you could see some eggs right here there are some broken eggs and it's in this little container they're not removable but they're very cool and here's a bowl of worms because, you know, monsters eat worms, apparently. And eyeballs, which is creepy but amazing. And there's spider webs all over the bowl. And it's orange. So this part is actually very cool. And you can extend this into a table for your dolls to sit in. It's kind of like a drawer, but then when you open it, there's a sticker right there and there's some spider webs. And you just take a seat and they could sit right there. Very nice. And then you could just close it if you need more room. Then there's a little gargoyle, which is the faucet. And there's water leaking out in its mouth. And you could see some bubbles right there in the water. And if you open it, let's try to... I'm going to move this so it doesn't fall. If you open this, inside you get to see the little... Um, the little teeth of the disposal machine or whatever very nice and under this is a fridge I've never seen this before but this is new I don't know where that like the trash disposal goes or whatever because under this it's a little fridge that you open and inside you can see some cool things you can see some ice cream watermelon a beaker spider spider webs and here's some little ice creams, which your dolls can hold. And under there, you could see a little monster in there. A beaker with some weird liquid, an apple, and some eyeballs, which is so cool. I actually really love this place that you guys, you guys kind of have to get this. Whoops, that fell out. And you can reorganize this in whatever way you want. Make it your own. So let me bring this part of the playset over. So I really love this part of the playset. This might be my favorite because it's just so cool. So at the top, you could see the Monster High skelet. And on the back, there's actually spider webs. Very nice. This is the oven. You can store things up here and it's in a translucent pink with glitter. And here's a little bat that you open. And you could store all your accessories in there. Then you could see the window. And you could see a cat, a bat, a zombie hand, a skeleton, and some weird pie with eyes. And it's a brain, which Ghoulia would probably like. 
So, here is a frying pan, and here are some eggs for the morning. It's purple, and it's a bone, which is just so amazing. And they all have little holes in there, so it stays there securely. Here is um, a cauldron, I guess. And it's very cool. It's kind of like stone and it's cracked. And it has some green glue, goo on it. Then here's this cake, which is weird. It has a tongue. And if you open it, it's kind of like a little monster. The top has little strawberries on it. And the inside is just plain. So I like the little dials right here to turn the stove on or whatever. Here you could put the little um, towel that he came with and it looks very nice. And you can open it. Let me try to get this open without knocking everything down. Let me just put the camera down. After you open it, you can put, store some more things in there. And um, here's a little baking oven sheet or whatever. A little pan and it has some cool cookies on there you can see a gingerbread man a bat a little heart with stitches and an octopus I really like the gingerbread man because it reminds me of Christmas and I love Christmas so much like a haunted Christmas the little washcloth fell but oh well so let me put that back and bring Dracula and Dracula back So that was it for this review. Tell me how much you guys like this set. I highly recommend it if you guys want a Dracula doll and an awesome playset to come with it. The Dracula, the Draculara is not worth it at all. She's like literally not worth your time. You're just better uh, off using a different Draculara that's articulated. But overall this set is amazing and I think you should get it because the little accessories just make up for all the the awful dolls but thanks for watching like comment and subscribe and i'll see you soon bye